Today, we shed light on the challenges that the current Iron County Sheriff Complex poses and why it is crucial for the county to embrace the Truth in Taxation proposal. The Iron County Jail stands as a relic of the past, now 37 years old, the oldest in all of Utah. Despite this, Iron County has proudly held the sixth lowest general fund tax rate in the state in 2022, demonstrating their commitment to financial responsibility. But the time for change has come. Today, the Iron County Jail finds itself overcrowded and in need of multiple updates. It's no longer just a matter of space. It's about maintaining the safety and well-being of our community. With the jail nearly at full capacity, the sheriff's offices are often forced to turn away arrestees, and with each refusal, we redefine the level of acceptable crime within our community, a consequence we cannot afford. Iron County is located in a strong economy and experiencing rapid growth. However, our jail infrastructure struggles to keep pace. It is increasingly difficult to manage and segregate different populations, from violent offenders to nonviolent ones and female inmates. The current jail, designed for a mere four female inmates, now accommodates an average of 50. It is an unsustainable situation. The current jail's outdated design presents unique challenges that affect its efficiency. Despite the commendable efforts of a talented maintenance team, the constant need for repairs underscores the age and limitations of the infrastructure. While the team has skillfully managed to meet state requirements so far, the limitations of the old systems are becoming increasingly difficult to overcome. Finding replacement parts has become a daunting task, often involving extensive searches through platforms like eBay. Inmates are confined to spaces that were never intended for long-term housing, repurposing programming and exercise rooms due to the lack of adequate facilities. The deteriorating infrastructure, including heating, sewer, and water systems, intensifies the need for a comprehensive and long-lasting solution. The Truth in Taxation proposal and resulting tax increase presents a needed fix and a chance to act now and potentially save the county millions of dollars in the future. By addressing the urgent need for a new sheriff's complex, we can provide the adequate facilities and efficient infrastructure necessary to meet our current needs as well as for years to come. Together, let us embrace progress ensuring the safety, security, and well-being of our community. By investing wisely and acting now, we lay the foundation for a brighter future, one where Iron County stands tall, equipped with a modern, efficient, and functional sheriff's complex. This new sheriff's complex is designed in a manner that we will be able to meet all the future growth for, we believe, for the next 50 years. Uh, it will give us the opportunity of having the bed spaces that we need to provide for all of our county inmates. And it will also give us the opportunity of providing housing to federal and state inmates at a contract price. Now I want to ensure you that these inmates will never be released in Iron County. They go back to the, the prisons where they came from but because of, of requirements of, of federal and state agencies that they do not have enough bed spaces, they rely heavily on sheriff's offices and, and the sheriff's jails to provide contract uh, bed spaces. This can be a huge benefit for us. With this new facility, we believe that at maximum capacity, we can bring in up to $14 million a year uh, into the county, which would not only pay for the, the cost of the employees, would also pay for the uh, bond payment and would also bring a cash flow into the county, which would be a huge benefit to the county in the future. But in order for us to have that, we have to have the tax increase up front in order to ensure uh, the lenders that, that that bond will be met. That's why we're coming to you today, uh, is asking you for that support. As a sheriff, one of the things I've been very appreciative of is the support of our community. When everyone else was talking about defund the police, 
We had children heart attacking our front doors. We had high school kids bringing in banners of things. And we had community members bringing in sandwiches and, and drinks for our deputies. We very much appreciate the support that is given to us as we strive to serve our community. At this point in time, I'm asking for your support once again in giving us the ability of providing a modern and up-to-date facility which will meet the, the requirements of state and federal law better and will give us the ability of being able to better serve our community and keep our community safer for the future growth of Iron County. Thank you for all that you do to support us.